little pad here thing, but I didn't get it in time. Sorry. Well, we didn't. Oh. We were just happy you showed up late. Well, welcome to the Ramblecast. This is how we're starting it without music from Jay or Nick. I guess he is on this podcast. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Someone's got a soundboard now, being all fancy. But anyway, welcome to the Ramblecast. We are without Nick. He is lost in some kind of... <laughs> That's so great. Oh, That's my so God. Good. Hey, UPS guy's wife is here. <laughs> what? what? Oh, oh, there's the live stream I'm missing. Oh, the ch- I'm like, what'd you call Matt? <laughs> what'd you call I Matt? called Matt. I've called Matt a lot worse than that. <laughs> yeah, he has. Really. So over the fact years. that he's like, trying to blame me for starting late. I'm like, how's it my fault? I like that. In the time since the last time I've been on, Jack's uh, just normal cadence and talking on this show has turned into Jack's tweets, and that's that's great. <laughs> True. Nice. Um, well, where, 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 where is Nick this week? Do, do, do we get an explanation? Or is he's he at just... he's at he's at Dinosaur Island. Oh, he's okay. burying bodies with Dan. Yeah. Do you, think, do you think he's actually watching us right now live? No, no, not at all. Where he was at, I don't probably, I probably don't have the internet. I, I am UPS curious. guy's wife Kim. To be to clarify, Kim is in the chat. Well, we figure that since it, it has your name on there, Kim. <laughs> So, Jay, welcome back to the show. We we kicked you off yes. a long time ago. You were voted off by the listeners. And, well, uh, it wasn't the listeners so much. It was Nick that was so ticked that I, I was named first in the Ramblecast After Dark. You know, the names exactly. And you weren't even on the show, but I guess that was kind of a... Uh, yeah, and so Nick... Was Nick uh, even mentioned? Nick banned me. Um, but now that Nick's not on this week, I was like allowed to come back in. It's kind of like a... Uh, you know, a behind the music kind of situation. It's oh. an indicator that if he's not here, I can come on the show. So, I thought it was a southern politics that we were like. Well, Kayla said he came back yesterday. Oh, oh. really? So oh. Nick lied to us. Really? You yeah. lied to us, Nick. <laughs> Son of a Fucking bitch! Lied to us. <laughs> Must be that Tennessee blood in him lying like that. Damn it. I'm not okay. crying. You're okay. crying. It's okay, man. It's okay. Well, we won't do the verses this week um, since um, Nick's not here to revel in the fact that BLT is beating the Cuban and the Italian and the French dip. It's beating all your countries. Oh, you is made it? fun of me. You made fun of me for the bullshit BLT. Bullshit lettuce and tomato. So much bullshit for the BLT. Well, guess no, who's I, on I like top. Great pick. That was so, I voted for it. That's my favorite sandwich. Fucking what I, what I like is everyone wanted a hot sandwich, but they voted for the BLT. BLT's hot at the Bacon's Fresh. Come on. I have never had a hot BLT in my life. No. You, you haven't had one toasted. toasted. You know, you can I have one toasted. toasted. With like uh, on sourdough, with like. Well, I was told. I, I was told that's not hot because I, I said, "Look, I've never had a cold French dip," and they said, "Ho oh, ho ho, that's not a hot sandwich." Oh, the whole thing—it had to be a hot press sandwich or something. No, it didn't. And there was no I rules about being hot. I don't know. It was it's just, just a no. We, we we were sharing our preferences for what. Oh, I think the next the next the next verses is going to be who's going to bitch the most <laughs> about the picks. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the that's part of the appeal of verses. That goes back just to you and I, Jack. Like, I know, I know, I know. There 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 are so many people that bitch about the post or the poll on our Facebook page that. Didn't even listen to the show. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. That's I know. Beauty. And you know what? Fuck you, because you're not listening to it anyways. <laughs> you can't. You can't hear, hear us go like this. Oh, yeah. Chris, uh, Chris's viewpoints are not. Uh, oh yeah, they're reflective <laughs> of me. No, I, I love hey, everybody. I'm back. I'm backing him up. Fuck it. We've actually had the most vote, <laughs> votes on the. We've actually had the most votes on the the sandwich. Um, and by the way, it's not favorite sandwich. It's what sandwich would you eat for the rest of your rest life? Because Nick yeah. had to be so weird about the question. But so that put me in a whole thing of like, okay, if I'm 80, I'd still be like, I'd still would like to eat a BLT. Mm-hmm. You know, like I might not be like bogged down with all of the Italian. I told and, I told you, you know. I get the BLT at Five Guys. Well, don't get me wrong. Like the BLT is a solid <laughs> sandwich, right? 
I, I'll, I'll crush a BLT. I'll crush two BLTs because BLT is not really a hefty sandwich. It's kind of like a sandwich light. It's a but sandwich like, for rabbits. It's a sandwich if you're looking for a snack, right? But yeah. I'll tell you, the BLT is a tasty sandwich. No question about it. It's tasty tomato? because of the bacon. But I'm telling you, if you're looking at it for the best overall, like it's far and away not the best overall. Aren't you? Aren't you a vegetarian, Matt? So do you just get the I am LT? No, no, no. I, I, I'll, I'll, you know, oh, I'll, uh, yeah. I, I think you just get an LT sandwich. Well, there's no vegetarian gives LT. a bacon all the time. Like I don't think I've ever met a vegetarian that won't kill. Oh, or, oh or it's, it's basically differ. it's basically like a person that you know, a friend from college or somebody you went to high school, Chris. Uh, when you're going out, <laughs> having a few drinks, and somebody's like, "Oh, let me bum a smoke." You know, it's basically yeah, my good friend opened up a sandwich shop. You know, the kid I went to high school with. I'm not actually, smoker, one, one of my former employees opened up. Two of my former employees actually opened up their own sandwich shops. That's like, yeah, post Apple retail. Like, I think it's thirty percent open up a food truck. Mm-hmm. A I, one of my coworkers opened up a food truck. It's called yeah, Cheesical. Exactly. It's a grilled cheese food truck. How come no one picked grilled cheese? That's a hot sandwich. Ah, it's lame, though. I mean, if you're gonna pick one sandwich, like it's not. Well, it should be grilled cheese. BLT's winning. You know, so I, I was cheese already right up there. For, for BLT. I mean, if I had picked grilled cheese, you guys would be like, "Welcome to the baby room" and all of this other shit. <laughs> We're still you know? trying to figure out why you didn't take pick the uh, what was it? The, the Reuben. No, no. The, what was the uh, movie with Meryl Streep and Clint Eastwood that you kept? You can't even. Re- you can't even think of the name. Bridges. Because well, I, I, so I, so I don't want to. Because I don't want to see it. It's not a Clint Eastwood movie. <laughs> it's because you have no heart. It's like you you watch a Pixar movie. Well, hold, well, like, well, hold so. on. Well, hold on a second. I have no heart. At least if I said I loved it, I would have picked it. I I, I did. Would, love I wouldn't. I wouldn't have jaded it and gone for the win. I would have. So you were stuck you with went, my morals. You're just jealous. You're jealous that I shafted you with the last. Eastwood pick with my brilliant. I mean, anybody could have picked any of the the spaghetti westerns, but no, no, no. It, it was your anti grandma's cookie pick. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to buck buck the system, and you wanted to go against the grain, your own grain, and uh, you went against what you. Of Madison County is a beautiful movie, but I'm going to pick yes, Good, the Bad, the Ugly, which is is like the same movie. <laughs> I didn't. I never said it was the same movie. I was just going to go with the superior <laughs> movie there. When he had, when he had Meryl Streep on that cross, hanging her with the gold below, and then he rode away, dun, 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 and he comes back and he, and he goes, and she's going, Blondie, Blondie, but she's doing it at a better because she's a great actress, Blondie, and then he takes the gun and shoots the rope down. She falls off onto the gold, and she goes, Blondie, you son of a, ah! that's where Bridges of Madison County rocked. So I've never seen the movie, and all of that last thirty seconds was terrible. You've uh, never—that's right. You've never seen Good, the Bad, the Ugly. Wait, 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 wait. No, Boston, you've never seen that movie. No, He's no. never seen an Eastwood movie. He's You're like no. the most like guy, guy out of this whole entire crew of podcasters. <laughs> bullshit, <laughs> bullshit. The most guy movie wow. of all is, time. Is, is that is that the next verses? Who's the most guy, guy of the Ramble cast? <laughs> Well, we, know oh, know. we know it's not Matt. <laughs> Thanks, my dick just went right up inside my body. So, Matt, in, inverted dick is going to be the episode title. <laughs> no, I don't think it should be, but you know, whatever. Matt and the curious inverted dick. No, uh, we can't. We can't Wait. Indiana Jones this thing. I I feel like yeah, that's like. That's guy one hundred and one. I might. Yeah, I know. Uh, Jack showed that movie to me. Yeah, I don't. What was I? I think it was like I turned 13. He was like, all right, son, all right. you're a man so You're, now. you're a man watch. now. It's time to watch the good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, see, yeah. What, what's crazy, like, I think about, you know, growing back when I, was, when I was a kid, like, you know, movies was not something that my dad was um, really into. Like, it, like I brought him to the movies, you know? Like, we I didn't play that, the dad card. Jeez. Oh, no, I'm just saying. He, Jay just did. I'm literally following suit from Jay's story. Like <laughs> My dad was against movies. <laughs> like, I wasn't allowed to Jay watch just movies. mentioned that Jack <laughs> made him watch this movie as a boy. My dad didn't make me watch movies. I found my he own. He didn't make me. He was just like, oh. you want to watch this movie? I was okay. like, sure. My point is this, is that my dad didn't <laughs> introduce me to movies. 
And some stranger down the street, some guy made uh, Matt watch Bridges of Madison County with him. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact. Here's some candy. Let's watch Bridges of Madison County. <laughs> I, went, I went to the movie theater with my girlfriend at the time, and, and we watched that movie. And we paid money to go see that in the movie theater. Yeah. Okay, I was with a girlfriend at the time. Maybe it was her pick. But I still loved it. It was still sweet. So, you know, suck it. You're not with her anymore. You don't have to keep admitting it. That's true. I am what right. was the worst movie you guys ever saw with a girlfriend in the theater? Um, what was that? It was a racing movie with like Sylvester Stallone and some like as like the old timer, and then like some kid. It was like an F one formula movie. It was awful. It's funny, like when you said that, I went to my mind. I was like, "What was the worst movie I ever went with like a girlfriend?" And uh, it was when I lived in San Diego still, and we went and saw that movie and it was just Sylvester Stallone and yeah, Sylvester man. Stallone and it was as like the old timer and there's like this young hot rod young guy that's coming up and well and the, every every movie, Stallone movie driven. was like it was driven driven had, every movie had to be a competition like you know yes and the, so they end up the arm wrestling they end up taking oh, these yeah. concept race cars and like formula One race cars and racing them through a city and like tearing crap I, it was just Death Race Two Thousand, huh? Oh, Death Race Two Thousand. Oh, yes. don't try to be. Don't try to man up now. <laughs> David Carradine. <laughs> no, hold, hold on a second. Come on. No, you just you just look that up so you could gain some cred. What? <laughs> the Night the Rock. I, I looked up Driven. I've never seen Driven, but I've seen Death Race Two Thousand many a time. Yes. Yes. Because my wife and I quote that every day. Like, How many points? Like can, cannonball <laughs> run, but you get points for taking out people. Yeah, yeah. I, Mine was I, a, I actually okay. saw it with my wife. Uh, it was Ali Sheedy. She was a maid or something like that, and we actually left in the middle of the movie. Yeah, just got up and left. It was I forget that it was maid. It was maid so bad. Manhattan. Ali Sheedy. Oh, I think I've ever left from Rat Pack. And we, we we've left twice because uh, I've left daughter, the movie twice. Our daughter told us about a movie that was so funny, and about twenty minutes into, it, I said, "Oh my god, I'm done with the popcorn. Can we go?" I go, "This movie sucks." Made to uh, thank you. Uh, there you go. Uh, made to order. Yes, it was terrible. Oh my so, god. I was left you. My my two. My, well, the first one. The first original question was was it with a girlfriend. So I I took my girlfriend in high school to see uh, Meet Joe Black. And that was the worst fucking movie I think I've ever watched. And we left after about thirty minutes. I got to see Brad Pitt get crushed by a like a like a big bus. That was okay, well, spoiler. Alert. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> um, but other than that, the movie was terrible. The other movie I left and right, I, I probably waited too long. I should have left in the beginning. Was Troy? Another what? Brad, Brad oh, I love Troy. Well, it's funny you mentioned Troy because this is how Jay and I watched Troy, didn't we? Yep, we had, it was one of the rare. We got there too late. I don't remember why we got there late. Because we were with we were with your, I think your your nana, your mom, and it took forever to get out of the yeah. house. It's like they got good seats. We said, all right, we'll sit up front. Yeah, oh, wow, you can see up uh, motion sickness. Brad Pitt's Chris, skirt. Chris, nice. Chris in the chat makes a good point though. But you got to see the episode one trailer. Yeah, that was the thing so about. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of my. Is that right? Uh, Sherry agrees with me. Made to order is the worst movie. Ever. It's terrible. I mean, I don't think she's made another movie since Ali Sheedy. Uh, she had a guest starring role in Home Alone Two: Lost in New York. I think isn't that her at the airport? I think who knows? I don't know. No, like, probably, Colleen, yeah. Colleen says Troy has pretty people, but it's not that good. No, it was terrible. It was. I love Troy. Of course, terrible. Orlando Bloom's a coward, but I I thought it was a good movie. Yeah, and then oh. you had the the classic Brad Pitt line: "Immortality, it's yours. Take it." It has, it has what's his name? What's the so classic? I have no idea what you're referencing. He was in he was in <laughs> Deadwood. I'm sure you haven't seen it, Chris. But um, I've seen he was Deadwood. in Deadwood season oh, three. Uh, Ian McShane? No, 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 not Ian McShane. He's in uh, um, Secession, the HBO show. Uh, what's his name? Great actor. Don't know. He was Doug, the main Doug, Doug Cooley. He was the main guy. He was the uh, Brian Cox, the King. Brian Cox. Oh, Brian Cox. Yeah. I see. He played, I said... he played for the Patriots and Dolphins. I literally don't even fucking remember this movie. I sat through half of it and I was like, "This is god awful." I mean, if it's on, I'll watch it right like now. Most people are going to sit through our podcast and feel the same way. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, seriously, Chris, seriously, Chris, if you haven't seen. The good and the bad that you should be probably be 
I've already you know, watched it. These tonight. are all movies I've, I've definitely seen bits and pieces, but if I ever sat down and watched it from beginning to end, no. no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the music, the music, the score is amazing. The the the, the action, it's got. It's just. Know, if you need my uh, iTunes login, Skypeck, let me know. You can watch it. I own it. Right on. Well, see, it, it's well, you, it, as you I, have find, Amazon... I find that extra couple of hours where I can sit down and watch a movie. I will. Do you have Amazon Prime? I do. It's free on Amazon Prime. Oh, oh great! Even better. Go. Good, the bad, and the ugly. Next to Doc Boot. Next to I would watch Good, the bad, uh, and the ugly. Uh, what, was, what was the, what was the other um, movie I need to watch with Clint Eastwood in it? Kelly's Heroes. No, that wasn't it. Don't do that one. You don't, don't like Josie Kelly's Heroes? Just do Jonesy, Jonesy. I love Josie Will. Josie, yeah, that's the one. You don't like I, Kelly's I Heroes? I want to. You don't like Kelly's Heroes? Well, they're okay, but I literally, just watch the Man with No Name trilogy, and that's all. Like you're, and just go straight to Unforgiven, and then you're good. I don't think you well, need. You can watch Hang You can watch. I've seen, I've seen, you can watch uh, I've seen Unforgiven. Fistful of Dollars. I was saying the the no, Man with No Name. Dollars. So you have Fistful of uh, Fistful of Dollars. Few dollars more, more, and good, the bad, the ugly. Just watch those three. But, you, but hang them high is is probably hang them high. With high plains drifter. High plains drifter That's is another, another one. one. That same same man, just, Again, so. all you need is the no, man with no name trilogy. That's it. It's all you need. All right, all right. For, for, for a man with as little time as you have, Kai Peck. You want some act? You want some act? You want some act? You have you ever seen a bus get shot up by a, a billion bullets? Watch the gauntlet. It's plus dirty yeah. Harry. You can't go wrong okay. with dirty hair. All right, before before we uh, get too far off topic, I'll just share the worst. I'm movie broken up by that man's right. You guys, you guys don't care, whatever. No, I go care. Ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it was a movie called Storytelling. I don't know if anybody's ever seen that, but it was very. It had a somewhat disturbing. It was like two stories actually. The soundtrack was by Bell and Sebastian. So why wasn't it called Two Storytelling? Uh, Paul Giamatti's in the second one. I can't remember the actors from the first part, but. I watched that with my wife when we were dating, and it was just one of those movies that was like, why the hell did we rent this? This is just god-awful. Um, did you rent from Blockbuster? <laughs> no, it was like our local video store at the time, so it was DVD. But the funniest movie I ever went, or the best time I ever had going to the movies with, on a date was with uh, uh, a girlfriend of long ago. We saw uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective 2, and we got... We got some Mentos oh. right before. You got some what? Mentos. Oh, Mentos. Yeah. That right before him. And uh, yeah. it got to the part where, he, like, the rhinoceros is giving birth to him. Mm-hmm. And I, we were just higher than a kite. We were losing our shit. I mean, it was, like, the funniest movie. And, like, I don't think I've ever watched it since. And I probably would not have laughed. Or I would not laugh as hard watching it. It's a good it. sequel. Do not pass go. Do not go. Do not die. It's got, it's got the, the dolphin. Is that the dolphin one? or is it the Dolphin's first the first one. one. Uh, dolphin's the first one. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've uh, talked about the uh, having seen a movie on Mentos a million times. They call him Bruce. I mean, it was me, Taffy, and a couple other friends. We went and saw it. It was funny because we were so, we went and, Yeah, it, we went and sat. We, we sat down, and I the guy goes, hey, I was saving those seats. My jacket. So I go, here you go, here's your jacket back. Because <laughs> we were hired to kite. And I uh, told, everybody oh, how, told everybody how great the movie was. It's so funny. Everyone went and saw it. That movie sucked. I go, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no, right. oh, my God, this movie does suck. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're going to watch it, like Matt said, if you're going to watch a movie, uh, yeah, go see it. Like I said, yeah. I might go see Bridges of Madison County. At, uh, what year did you get married, Jay? Me? 2011. You better get it right because you're right. 2011. Yeah, I wasn't sure which one it was that I saw. But yeah, so I actually went and saw Thor uh, with Taffy's Mentos, actually. Mm, nice. <laughs> and that was awesome. Like Rainbow Road was ripping. You know, yeah. <laughs> <Rainbow Road. laughs> Should really we tell good. people why, again why it's Mento- called Mentos? I forgot the origin. The people oh, that are here no, no, because he, he gave you a container. So I, I, I was at Jay's. I was at Jay's and in, in Colleen's wedding, and I think right. it was it was at the. I don't know. Maybe it was at the hotel or something. No, I can't no it, was was. The, it was at the. Oh, at the reception. It was actually. Yeah, yeah, I, I was. I was there because I was like, wait, dude, and like this is a time in which I wasn't. Um, I wasn't regularly, you know, 
partaking in in using marijuana. Okay. Oh, time. marijuana. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I did. But I, I did, but I didn't. It was one of those things where like, I wasn't like you know whatever. It was prior mm-hmm. to legalization in the whole nine, but um, yeah, legalization. Made so it. Taff, Taffy comes yeah. up to me. He's like, and he's like, and he goes, "Hey, I got something in my truck for you." <laughs> he goes out to his truck. And this is a beat up ass truck. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Old truck. I'm like, shit. You drove that here? It made it. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you made it there. There's no yeah. patchwork. <laughs> so he goes and gets out of his truck. He hands me a container of fucking Mentos, and I'm like, thanks, guy. <laughs> really, really appreciate it. He's like, no, no, no. Open it up. I open it up, and sure enough, there's just a bunch of pre rolled joints in there. I was like, oh, yeah. so that's, that's how kind of Mentos. Mentos. That's how Mentos um, got its name. And it was it was pretty decent week. And Chris didn't share it with anybody else, so fuck off. Yeah, I did. Not with me. Well, I didn't see you at the point. Jack's I was there when he. I was there when he handed it to you. I was there. Jack's, oh, Jack's we, did, we didn't light one up. It was a white Mentos. It was white Mentos, clear Mentos. Yeah. Uh, and I, I didn't get any. I, I didn't get anything. I got nothing. Did we? Did we have any? We, no. Oh, I, I lost my camera. Was, so whatever, there we go. Nine, nine years ago. Well, right. a lot of bad stuff happened to Jack that day. Not to mention. I mean, I had a son. I had a party, an after party, an after party to go to. I mean, there were like fourteen parties I had to go to. I think I, I could have used the Mentos. I'm thinking about that night in that in, in the instance. I'm trying to recall in my brain, and I don't think you were in any condition <laughs> to be partaking. <laughs> In Mentos at that time, I was I was perfectly sober. <laughs> I, I highly doubt that. I, I no bullshit. I was. Now my That's daughter's true. weddings, I may have, may have had a few drinks. I was I was hammered up until like a few minutes before I said I do because we drank the whole night before, and Jack, mm. you were drinking too. Like we drank. Oh yeah, I, I was. But I, I'm not a lightweight. And. So but until like 3 a.m. or something like that. Was I drinking yeah. with you guys tonight before or no? I don't know if you were in town yet. To we didn't invite you. On this. I can't remember. We said, there, was a, there was a requirement. You've had to see certain movies. <laughs> no. Like it was, it was kind of like another bachelor party. That wasn't a bachelor party, but it was just like all the guys that were in town the night before. We were just yeah. straight up drinking. Yeah, I think I, think I came in the day of. We were pretty uh, loud in the... Uh, Poor people around us, but it wasn't my room, so I didn't care. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, I just remember I woke up completely, like, still drunk, like, you know, kind of not able to, like, walk down the hall straight. Oh, Chris did show up because he said, it's not too late. I got my car out there. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, um, I'm just, I, if Colleen's still listening, I, I hate to bring that up, but no. it was that. The best, the best, like, are you sure that I got was from, like, cousin-in-law matt uh he's a funny guy he was one of my groomsmen and he just i don't know if it was a chris rock bit or whatever but he's just like half half your shit is gone are you <laughs> sure you want to go through with this we're in the limo we're going to the church right now we can we can go somewhere else are you sure and then we're like this yeah is point, of, point of no return yeah <laughs> Half I do. I do. Uh, my baby, my baby boy, my baby boy. I go, he'll be fine. Uh, that burnt DeLorean is a sad sight. It, right? I, I saw this. I saw this somewhere on the Facebooks, and I just had to like. It, use it, it, as it only could go to eighty-seven somewhere. miles an hour. Is that the problem? Well, the engine's in the back, and it caught fire, and it just melted it. Yikes! I think I've decided that I'm going to save every penny that I make from Geek Dad Life, and it's going to take years. But I want to save every penny, and I'm going to buy a DeLorean. Put your kids into school. Oh, oh, buy a DeLorean. Pretty self. I already, I already have five. Sorry, we lost Jay. Apparently, like his <laughs> wife came in and said, that, "There's no fucking way that that's happening." Just put it back in. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, I already paid five twenty nine. The kids' college fund is fine. This is like separate money, and that's where I can buy stupid stuff with it. According to Zach, he's not going to college. Um. But, <laughs> Well, and it, yeah, we said, well, and he's like, do I get that money? I'm like, no, it then goes to your brother. <laughs> yeah, he, um, I, he made me put together his Lego house to get today. Oh, well, that's the Playmobil one that we talked about on the yeah. last show that the so Jack I, fell asleep through. I was watching and I was Sleeping really out. stoked because I, I freaking, I, it's a really good build. It's a really good. I like a company that was built on, you know, throwing cocaine. 
Turn right. on the lights. It's got <laughs> lights. You know, yeah, the it's, problem I have with it though is the light. They don't light up the headlights, which I think is lame. It's mm. boring with selling cocaine to pay for it. I, entrapment. But I do love that the wheels pop in, and then. But still, I think the the best is the uh, the Ecto One A from Ghostbusters Two has sounds. Oh and yeah, that's and everything. And yep. now people are, people are going, going. Why did you make Jay watch Good, the Bad, the Ugly? <laughs> he didn't make me watch it. <laughs> so Jay, do they still make the Ecto? Yeah, you can still find the Ecto one. The Ecto one A is harder to find, uh, but they, I still find the Ecto one in places. I look all the time, can't find it. Oh, uh, Sherry says everyone. The light the lighting is on point. Yeah, I can't fucking see. I'm blinded right now. But thank you, thank you. Everybody, everybody does look really good. <laughs> But my favorite is Matt's green screen lately. I think it just it, it adds a, just a bit of. Well, it does give Matt a little bit. It, it adds a layer of complexity to the podcast. <laughs> before that, Thank you, before Matt. that, we always, always forgot about Matt. So it was like, <laughs> oh, we never forget about Matt. Matt is pretty much the topic of conversation every week. <laughs> I appreciate that, um, and I stand by that. And uh, for those, I, someone mentioned Tron Gate. Uh, I have told Colleen that that is my plan, so she can't be mad. She probably thinks there's no way you're going to pull it off, but <laughs> just wait. What do you? What's Tron Gate all about? Oh, when I bought a Tron arcade game without telling. Oh her. yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. discs. No, like uh, not the disc of Tron's like a ten thousand dollar game. No, that's I meant disc uh, of Tron. I didn't spend Tron. that much. No, I spent like thousand dollars. It's not a big deal. Eighty-five hundred dollars. It's an investment. Um, by the way, uh, Sherry, I know that uh, you messaged me privately about my green screen. I will, I will get that link or share it at some point. I'm hey, just talking about that for a month. I, I, I haven't been talking about it for a month. Oh, it's you just have. Behind... No, you, I, you said you're going to share the link for at least a month. Okay, I'm just fucking lazy. All right, that's the. That's I didn't want to. I didn't want to say that. I don't want to be a guy that's a job. Out. Easy. I don't like calling people I've, up. I've been very, very. Did you finish like, the attic? No, but that's all I've been doing is just working on the attic. Don't give me that. There's so many more steps to go. You I've said got I could, it. You it looks great. Come, Your updates look come, great. When I come to the cult, when it comes to the Colts play, right? You said I had a place to stay. In the basement. Speaking of the fucking cults, man, all these pictures are, are popping up all over oh, the window of Tom Brady by like, repping his new jersey and mm-hmm. shit. Like I'll tell you, with between COVID and all the bullshit that's going on in society, I actually forgot about Tom Brady. And then someone posts this shit on Facebook. I'm like, that motherfucker's wearing a goddamn Buccaneers jersey. I can't go I Tampa can't Bay. Go Tampa Bay. Finally, really Tampa Bay has Tampa Bay has one fan. His, he's right there. His name is no, Jack. I, I, Fuck I'm Tampa Col- Bay. I, I'm a Colts fan, but anything that fucks over the Patriots fans and gets yeah. me all emotional. <laughs> oh, oh man, it hurts. It's gonna be it fine. Look, I don't even have a fucking my team left. You know, fuck Spanish. Yeah, Tom, and Tom Brady's not that great. This is gonna be the proof that Tom <laughs> Brady is just a system quarterback because I've <laughs> no. They're, they're 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 putting players around him. To yeah, they're they're, they're investing around him. Well, here's the thing. What for half a season before he gets hurt? Now here's the thing. Well, to the first person goes, <coughs> all right, test him. Yeah, right, right. but it's Bill. Be- I trust Bill Belichick way more than Tom Brady. Bill Hold Belichick. On a gonna, you, you trust, you trust Bill Belichick his cheating ability? He's going to cheat like no other. And he's going to find <laughs> some guy. Uh, trust Roll dice. Do it, my I literally hit the back of my head. I, it hurt. Like literally, he's gonna find some he, guy. He, he's never. He's never been. Head, that maybe threw a football once, and they're still gonna be eleven and four. You guys are gonna be fine, Boston. Eleven and four. There's Let's all do these- the math. Let's do the math there. Let's do the math there, Jay. Eleven and four. Eleven and four. Let's do the math. Sixteen game season. Oh, I don't know. How many years are in a season now? I don't watch football anymore. Six, Sixteen 12, 12, game season. 12 and, four. Twelve and four. Twelve and four. Whatever it is. Okay, Eleven three. Right, Twelve and four. There you go. Um, but yeah, so there's all these like uh, I forget who mentioned it, it was uh, uh, it was uh, Kennedy Joe Kennedy. He's um, didn't like his JF, Kennedy. JFK's great great <laughs> nephew, whatever his name is, but he's one of our uh, senators. He tweeted out about uh, about Colin Kaepernick and all this stuff, that type of stuff. How the NFL needs to apologize to him. And his uncle like, was a great driver. Even, even more, even oh, fuck, <laughs> even more of a reason for the Patriots. To, we should sign him. And I was like, who put that bridge there? 
I mean, as much as I love as much as I love Cap and everything he stands for, he's not a good quarterback. <laughs> like I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want. Well, he's to... he's better than he. The problem is he's better than the backups that are being signed. Well, yeah. I don't know, man. Stidham is like a stud. No, I'm saying that, like a lot of backups. You they go. Yeah, he didn't take him to the Super Bowl. It was the uh, team True. itself. I mean, no, he's better than back. I, I think. Really, again, anyone that Belichick put, puts in there will be fine. Yeah. Matt Castle was successful. I know he Matt was. Castle. Matt Castle, come on. The guy wasn't even drafted, was he? Yeah, he was. I don't think he was drafted. His brother used to pitch for the Padres. Yeah, his Thing. name was Jeff Castle. I think it was Brian Castle. Matt Castle was drafted Actually, in the seventh name- round of the 2005 NFL draft. Well, two thousand seventh round. That's like okay. I got I got to pick somebody. I think his brother was named San. Wasn't Who was it? Brady? Wasn't Brady like sixth round pick? Hey, round? Brady, no, Brady was uh, sixth round pick. Six sixth round pick? pick. Don't even look it up. Sixth round pick. All right, Uncle Jerry. You won <laughs> tons of tons of tons of fucking Super Bowls. That's all that matters to me. Uh Anyway, so uh, yeah, you didn't get my joke. His his brother was named Sam. Um, on other jokes that we didn't get. This is a perfect time to throw in one of those ad breaks because why not? Whew, glad we're back from that ad break. That was oh you know, my god, it was rough. That was, a, that was a terrible ad. I'm not buying it. <laughs> Can I say you that? people? You people listening at home, don't buy it. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Unless it was awesome, then send me one. It was a DVD. Pl- it was a DVD of Bridges of Madison County. <laughs> I think it was an advertisement for the lottery. <laughs> for you people that don't like good movies, we so have Matt, Bridges of Madison Matt, County. Matt, they, they want. They want to know what what you're drawing. Um. Well, if you must know, I'm not drawing. I'm uh, I'm working on the names for at the end of the podcast. <laughs> Why does it take you so long for the names at the end? Of, there's what three now you have to come up with. No, I just I, I I make up. You don't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. He makes up names at the the end of each time. It's really cool. Well, you know what, Matt he used to do drawings for people. In. Matt used to do drawings for people that sent emails and gave us good reviews. And, and now Matt says, "Fuck it, I ain't doing it." I, I, have, I have not. Randy, Randy I have says not. a DVD of Das Boot. You know what? Hang on a second. I was just going to say that uh, I haven't received. Still got one of those right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we? Why don't we auction it off? Because you're never going to watch it. Why don't you sign it? I feel like if we watched like five minutes with you on the show every week, we could like eventually could bang it out over the next couple couple episodes. So it's like in the office where they just watch parts of parts of uh, what the hell is that? Varsity Blues. The Threat Level Midnight. No, 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 uh, no. The football movie. Uh, yeah, Varsity Blues. Varsity, varsity blues. blues. I think it's varsity blues. Am I right? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> yes, something like that. So I've only had eighteen. Blues. What was it? Uh, not another teen movie where they do a <laughs> where the kid has all the concussions. Chris Evans. Have you? Uh, uh, all right, Chris. Have you seen not another teen movie? I think. I don't know. What's it about? I don't know. It's a spinoff of. All, it's a spoof of all the teen movies. Oh, I'm, if I did, I don't, I don't remember. Chris, Chris Evans? I know who he is. I know you know who he is, but have you seen it? He's in it. It's like his first movie, I think. Or it's first hilarious. Movie. Taffy hated it. Taffy made us all go to it and hated yep. it. Not another teen movie. That I mean, movie wasn't all funny. Those, all those spoof movies like Scream and not Scream, but... Uh, no, this, this movie... Um, oh, it looks so hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've definitely seen this movie. Just to mention to the people in the chat, we're not doing a versus tonight, um, and it's not. The versus is how many times will we pick on Matt? And it's not about measuring anything. Anything. So I, I realized that I put a tape measure in the little show. Yeah, I was wondering about that too, but I was like, going, well, you need a bigger ruler. Well, I just Ooh. I've been I've been doing a lot of tape measuring up in the attic, and I thought, oh, a tape measure with our with our RCAD would be kind of cool, you know. And then I thought, well, people might think that I'm talking about measuring dicks for some reason. Well, that's what everyone thought. 
Damn, well, I thought the same thing. I go, when, I go, when did we talk about that? We don't. We how, When have we ever talked about measuring dick sizes? I don't know. I, I, I think it's so adorably I, I Midwest. Turned out my how you say, I think it's so adorably Midwest of how you say the word measure. Measure. Measure? Yeah. I'm only major? saying it because you literally said it 18 times in the last 10 I'm, seconds. I got to major. measure my penis. That's adorable. Major. Measure. How do I say it, it, measure? It, it, I say measure. It's measure, measure, but it's measure. Measure. No, it's measure. It's clearly measure. Like that's Down how you measure. Down in the measure, measure the. No, say what? They're all saying in the chat too. What accent is that? <laughs> Fuck you guys! I'm going. I don't get there. It is a, it is a it, Midwest it, thing. It My only Ohio it only took how many Midwest. how many minutes before we we uh, event? I'll be honest, but the chat started dumping on you. I think yeah. what, simultaneously to us. And the yeah. chat, um, lo- and to be fair, the chat loves you, Matt. No, they don't. They do. Yeah, they oh, do. they do. They do. I just saw a with uh, Matt Hart. Yeah, so, Matt Hart. So how, how do you how do you say the word R O O F? R, uh, roof. A roof. Do you? I don't know. I spent a weekend with Tony. You hear your roof? Draw. Yeah. I well actually, I wasn't measuring the roof. Roof. Well, fuck you guys. You guys got, got me in my the head now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Only six inches? <laughs> it's a good size! So, <laughs> I'm not the one that can't read numbers. I mean, six is good, right? Well, that's why I gotta go see Bridges of Madison County. <laughs> Three, four, five. Matt, you should be in movies. Six, seven. Well, now you're dreaming. All right. One of my favorite uh, moments was at uh, at our bachelor party, the one that Boston was at. There was this one guy there. He's a raging alcoholic. Which one? That narrows it it down. (laughs) I think I think there's a lot of raging alcoholics. Uh, I I, I know of which you're. You're wondering why I wasn't drunk. The one that like was getting fights with people at the strip club, like you know. Anyways. Uh, he was just, he was talking about yeah. his dick size and just like, you know, like everyone's, it's like, it's two and a bit. And, and I think Chris was like, fuck you. You're full of shit. I know you're two and a bit. What the fuck are you talking about? And he's like, no, I swear to God, it's two and a bit. Isn't that everybody's? And I'm like, and show me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm, we're at a strip club. Fuck it. Just, just I'm glad show I missed me. that party. I'm like, oh, uh, two and a bit. Fuck off. Man, you got one. You got one hot dog. You got two and a bit. I don't know. Two, two and a bit. He's like two and a bit. I was like, yeah, dude. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's not like oh, Chris oh, calling anybody out. <laughs> we. It was not my intention to, to talk about measuring. Dick <laughs> <laughs> everyone thought you put that up. I was like going. I don't remember talking about that. Fuck. We, we, we did not. I. But 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 that's what every everyone thought the same thing. Yeah, I know, I know. It was weird. Um, maybe it's because <laughs> I also highlighted the D. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a little subliminal message. Because <laughs> I, 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 I posted on Twitter, I said, "Do I post a picture?" I go, "Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it." I, I, I so okay. So since well, we're we, not going to I, I, I hope we're not being boycotted because every day there's a different boycott on Twitter. So I hope it's not us today. Uh, they're coming yeah. for you, Jack. That's all I'm saying. I think I, I've, I've, sco- I've been scanning my Twitter thing for the last 10 years. Going, anything I put there that was kind of bad? They're coming for you. Fuck you, Dean Spanos. Thank you, Kim. Oh, she did not see that when she saw the thumbnail. She saw something else. She just- well, because I'm a dud. Oh, it's an acronym. That's what she said. Yeah. It's an average. Says five and a half is the average. So there you go. Don't stress anyone out there. All right. There we go. All right. <laughs> Two and a bit. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you would straight up be fucking injuring people. Like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> you can't do that. That's actually like that is designated for a specific like search column on Pornhub. Like you can't see that every day. 
he would be uh, in um, pictures being sent to text messages uh, across the nation during COVID. He would be the advertisement that you see when you're watching Pornhub. So he'd be that (laughs) guy floating across that cloud with just like, oh my God. Yeah. Please stop (laughs) sending that to me, Chris. (laughs) That's Nick. That ain't me. Well, maybe a little bit. (laughs) My wife would go, holy shit. My wife would go, well, I got another picture from Nick. (laughs) <laughs> just glad it my wasn't. Kids don't see this. It time. wasn't just Nick because I had other like group texts with friends. Like I had an, an, an ex Apple group thread, and they were showing up in it. Like it's just nonstop. My, my brother, my brother yeah. was saying so I never thing. worked for Apple, so I was okay. I just oh, saw sorry. whenever Nick's number came up. I said, "Oh fuck, not again." I think it's you, Chris, that sent one. I go, I didn't see it at first. <laughs> yeah, there were some know, good solid ones in there. It was, hid, it was like a hidden message. Skypick got me because there was one like where his a hand was like. <laughs> you thought I got yeah. hurt? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's like. You know, I didn't like. I was I, like on, I on the dude's arm. It was like yeah. pictures. And, but if you zoom in to the cut or like the, the, where the cut was, it's just three of them. <laughs> But I, said, I, I, I thought I go Sky picks dipping in his, uh, so, his uh, gels right now. <laughs> so for what for what we're talking about for people who may not understand the reference, so, you know, there was a, for a period of time, I don't know where it came from or why it came from or where it we where 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 dude, you was, it. Dude blessed. Let's just say so. That. Like this, the, like you want to talk about a dude who's two in a bit. Like there's this. Dude, that's, that's this cool. We are to this meme of of, of, of of a very well endowed like. Man crouching, right? <laughs> and he's on a bed, hanging, hanging down. He's he's like a fucking tripod. This guy, he's crouching down, like he's literally a tripod. He's and, bigger than a fucking tripod. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting on the bed, and his three legs are touching the floor. It's just, yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. Like the, the Richard Pryor scene when in, when he's doing this poltergeist uh, exorcist from Saturday Night Live. The dick is on my foot. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so, like, it, anyways, the 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 um the memes that have been generated have have gone way too far, and they're amazing at the same time. So, like, he's in, in the clouds, he's in, so it's like in the in the clouds, like in a crop rotation, like you, you name it. But, but the one that I sent to Jay that got him, I, I said, "Oh man, I I spent the night in the hospital last night." It was a picture of my like, of an arm. It wasn't my arm? It was just an arm, and it had like these sutures going across like, this huge like gaping wound on the arm like it's like a broken arm or whatever yeah, I remember that. but if you zoom in the sutures are actually the dude's dick <laughs> I, I never got that i was just like well, i don't know jay was so picture. concerned bless yeah. you jay because you were very concerned well, you were, you were I, my well like, being. oh fuck chris and, got hurt no fuck chris is fucking with us jay, jay, jay was laughing. the most earnest i was <laughs> skeptical i was just like i don't know what the fuck i said no chris is fucking like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I gotta look more into this before i go I'm so sorry, Chris. I feel you bad. Zoom in, you're like, oh, what a dick. <laughs> well, <laughs> laughing at me that I was like showing genuine concern. I was like, wait, wait a second. And then I then I zoomed it because it was like in my phone and it's a smaller picture. So I'm just like, holy shit, he fucking <laughs> sliced his arm. And then we're laughing at me, and I'm like, continue on the next phone. That's how big it is. Oh um, my god. But the here's next, the next group to be called. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, shoot, I'm not going to read Matt's comment, right, Matt? Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it that good? Um, <laughs> but the thing with Skypeck though is, like, he has had moments of you know slipping in oh, up yeah. there, breaking yeah, yeah. an arm in a he, he broke his shoulder in a pile of shit. Yeah, exactly. I so I like, there's did. precedent that. Sky had the put himself in dangerous situations, as you know, uh, uh, fixing his house or whatever. I don't know, yep. but I just like I was worried. Maybe it was like putting something together in a fucking. I don't know. It was a perfectly placed meme. It, it, I, I couldn't <laughs> have done it. It was because because my wife goes, "Who texted?" I go, "Well, Chris just texted me about something about his arm." I go, "But I'm not buying it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid. afraid. Go, what? You, he could be hurt. I go, "No, I'm afraid to look." <laughs> Because it got to the point, it got to the point between you and Nick that I was like going, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I can't because I'm having bad, I'm having bad dreams. <laughs> and the best part about it is it's quieted down so much now that it's the perfect time to bring it back. So now I'm yeah. going to search and try to find him again. There's no, there's no. Let me just put it away. There's no mass that'll cover it. There's, it's, there's, there's, there's no, it's just like, oh my god. But that guy died, didn't he? Did oh yeah, he, he he became a legend far after his death. Aww. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. He, he died, I guess. Aww. Oh, Sometimes I feel bad for us. How did he cook over it and crack his head over it? <laughs> no, he, he had a massive blood loss because it was all going through his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Kayla says we should put this on OnlyFans. What is OnlyFans? I just don't know what website that is. Let me see. Just any or should, OnlyFans. Should I not? I don't Let me know. go incognito first. <laughs> I don't know what incognito <laughs> this is. Uh, OnlyFans? OnlyFans. And then we, Chris we went down a website. Uh, oh. Wormhole. Sign up to make money and interact with your fan. Oh, hello. So, yeah, we lost Chris. And that <laughs> like, oh, money? <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the money. I'm talking about what I'm seeing. Oh, shit. Please, no, please, I, got please. Please. I don't want well, to. It's, 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 it's nothing inappropriate, but I can definitely see how this could be inappropriate. <laughs> well, good to know. So, um, yes. it's fun, fun being on a fly on a, man's, uh, on a wall in a men's room, RCAD. <laughs> Matt Tree says, isn't it like the Patreon for porn? I don't know, Matt. Is it? <laughs> is it? I don't know. I Patreon has a lot of like porn shit too, though. Oh, do they? It's mostly Patreon? Porn. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't get out. I don't get out much. A lot of, you know. They almost called it porn, porn. porn Treon. It was that popular. I became a Lego so. master according to your son today. So I could have oh. I built him three. It was a. It was a uh, um, he said it was a mall, but I, I don't know what it was. But it was, he was like just a, trying to compliment you so you would do work for him. <laughs> it, it worked because I did the whole damn thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I did the whole damn thing. He goes, Papa, you want to become a Lego master? I said, okay. I go, why do I? Because he had, we got him a new one today and it was had like 280 parts. I go, wait, I got like 3 billion parts over here. Why don't we switch? He goes, no. So I put the whole, I, I want to get Petco Park. I've been looking for it. I can't find it. They don't do an official Lego Petco Park. It'd be like a why not? Why not? Fan. You don't want to do that. Best stadium in Major League Baseball. Is, they don't, I mean, I, people are going. What's Major League Baseball? They won't do Petco first. They'll do. There's Fenway. no real team sets that they can. Do Fenway or Wrigley. I, I, I would do Petco Park. They're not uh, going to do it. They do Ra- Fenway or Wrigley first because that's. Where I don't it. care. I don't care. Park. Fenway's Fenway is a beautiful park. Just saying. And there's uh, Red Sox fans it's everywhere. Not, it's, not, it's not Petco. What? Come on, Fenway, come on. I've never Play been to Fenway, but it's it, a dream. It's it's on our it's list. Got, it's got still Fenway. beans blocking your view. Come on. Well, no. Petco, I've Petco, been to Petco. Petco. Petco's a nice park. I get it. No question. Not a bad it's a nice park, But it's not. Bad. Like, it's not a bad, the, bad. America's Pastime Park. Well, no, no. I'm not saying America's Pastime. But if you want to watch a baseball game and not be blocked by... If you're okay, if you're judging the park by something as stupid as how good can you see the game? I mean, yeah, well, I paid okay. money. I want to see the game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's like going to a movie theater. I, cool. like, I, I feel like would you go to a movie theater? Park, 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 physically, is the way? shittiest bet ballpark to watch a baseball game in. There's no question about that. But the nostalgia of that park and the charm of that park is amazing. Here's Here's the the thing. Thing. I've go been. To, would, would you go to? Would you go to a movie theater? And have a still beam in front of you. No, you just it, it's semantics now. Like it's Fenway's a, an icon, Wrigley's an icon, and it's just you you have to pay respect to. Oh, I would go. I would go icons. in a second. I would go in a second. Love like, it, so to I, me, it's while I love Petco Park. Let's go. All right, come on I, up. I go whenever baseball's I, back. I mean, baseball was talking about doing it. The owners want a sixty game season, but the players want a seventy game season. I'm so. I, over I took it. Ralph. I took Ralph to Fenway, uh, to Fenway one year when he was up here. Oh, nice um, taking Ralph. How many yeah, times well, you pop? Well, because because he fucking came to Boston, Jack. You come to Boston, I'll take you wherever you want to go. I can come there, but I, I, you know, it's just there's no season. There's no baseball. the first place you're going to go to is most likely a dispensary. I can show you where to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, could we meet your friends? My friends? You, you oh, have friends at the brewery everywhere. and everywhere. Yeah, sure. Uh, there you go. My part. My part. Um. They said AT and T Park is better. I've been to AT and T Park, beautiful ballpark, but Petco's better. Sorry. Yeah, you, uh, you you under, have you been to Wrigley yet? I've Hold not, on a second. I've not been to the, the I've not been to Wrigley or Fenway. You got to wear a parka in the summertime. Sorry, no. Uh, I've been to the OG Yankee Stadium. So out of the old three, but that one's not. They tore it down because the Yankees suck. But uh, yeah, Wrigley and Fenway are. Top I've been I've been to Washington Stadium. It's nice. 
it's a nice place to watch a game, but it's not. Come on, yeah. I've been to I've been to old school Yankee Stadium. Old old school Yankee Stadium is is amazing, right? Was amazing. Was uh, the, new, the new Yankee Stadium sucks. In it's my garbage. Like I can't yeah, believe they tore down Magic and fucking put that shithole of a stadium in the new Yankee Stadium. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. It, um, it was a cash grab, and I just we went to a game there a couple years ago. And I was like, this just doesn't feel like it. Just, it's it's feel like it. It's like going, what the fuck are you doing? Camden Go Yard, on. gorgeous. Uh, Matt, I'm sorry. I, I have to stop for a second because I have some concerns and some questions. Um, First of all, what the fuck is behind yeah, you? What is, number one. What is that, Matt? Is uh, that number two. Is that County? Is that number two, I, I, I have a challenge for you, Matt. Seeing as there was a theme uh, that was mentioned earlier that um, OnlyFans is like the Patreon for porn, um, I think you need to have some Patreon for porn theme names for our patrons. No, no, no. I think I got it picked out. No, I no. I, I, think, I, think, I think I'm with Chris. You got 10 minutes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I already have them written down, you know? Like, I can't... I mean, we got, like, ten minutes left of the show. You guys got to do a hard hour on this. Well, there's some fights happening right now in the chat. Uh, it was amazing. Yeah, nothing from, better than wind of bags blowing everywhere while you're trying to bat. <laughs> and then the, he said, Candlestick Park was miserable, and Kayla Silva said, Candlestick was amazing! Candlestick was a dump. She's a she's a Giants fan though. She's a Stan. I've, I've been to Anaheim. Truly a bigger A. You can take it for whatever. The it new, the new, the the renovated Anaheim Angels Stadium is nice. I sat up top and was was worried for my life. Um, Dodger Stadium is I you know I hate the Dodgers, hate the fucking oh, Dodgers, but Dodger Stadium is nice. It's you gorgeous. know ex- expect to spend six hours getting out of there because of the traffic, but there's nothing better than a Dodger dog. I don't know what the fuck it is. Their hot dogs Frank, are amazing. Dude. Come on up, Fenway Franks. Oh, I'll try, uh, yeah, I'll, just, uh, if the Padres, the Padres sure, uh, maybe, I'll, sorry, I'll be up there. Yeah, we'll go whenever yeah. you want. All right, Roger Stadium is great because it's a mid-century modern stadium. So just like it's such, it's like a like a space age kind of. It just it's yeah, beautiful. The fans, are, the fans are dumbasses. So the the only stadium that, can, in my opinion, that is shittier than the new Yankee Stadium is Tropicana Field. Oh, oh, there's I nothing, there's, I've, I've never been there, but that, there's nothing worse than tr- just watching it on TV. It was <laughs> terrible. Absolutely. Anytime a ball can hit the top of the, the roof and, yeah. and still be in play is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Any baseball stadium that was already over a decade old by the time they played the first game in it, it's going to be bad. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Yeah, the baseball, they are actually talking about there could be. I, but what are we at? What's today? June 17th? 17th. Come on. It, it's going to take it's a, it's June 17th. It's gonna players a month to get going. The first case of uh, the first person gets comes down with uh, coronavirus, they're going to cancel the season. What? Just cancel the I swore you were going to say gonorrhea. Well, the NBA, they're, they're, they're what, in Florida? And Florida's like, Spiking like crazy right now. It's like, come yep. on. and they're staying at Motel Six. I mean, if you want to go rewind the show like five episodes ago, we may or may not have predicted that this is all going to happen. Yeah, we did. Just saying. I right, were coming Actually, up in an hour. I know uh, Skype had a hard an hour. No bullshit. You were four minutes late. Matt still got to come up with the I, I can I can do an hour and five. My wife and I want to travel through all the uh, all the baseball. <laughs> She's right. like, I'm really done, guys. I mean, come no, on. No, I can keep going. I'm trying to do it. I'm going to watch Twitch here in about five minutes. I can't do this. Because usually he's got to deal with calling in her emails. Oh, my gosh. The worst. No, if for oh my for me, I, my, my only little excl- explanation is that my, um, my responsibilities outside of this podcast have exponentially grown recently should, should and we have, should, I, I actually look i actually looked at my calendar when you said is it say the 17th i pulled up my iCal and I, I got a shiver like i got like a little post-traumatic stress when i pulled up my iCal so i closed <laughs> it really quickly but thanks for the reminder is there a chance that we could do an rcad meetup if when baseball comes back and there's fans at a stadium i would love to do that i think it'd be a, a ton of fun i i would prefer to go somewhere I haven't been, but if you guys wanted to come to Boston, I'd be proud to show you Fenway Park. 
I'd lo- I, you know, I'm, I, I was giving you shit earlier. I'd love to see Pen- Fenway Park. Right. That, like Jay said, Wrigley Field. Um, being a huge baseball fan, I would love because base because when I was a kid, and you'd watch uh, Tony Kubek and Joe Garagiola do the baseball game because there was only one game a week. Yeah, and those guys would do the games. It was always Boston and always Chicago because they played during the day on Saturdays. Yeah. So John, the UPS guy, says, "Yes, we survived the earthquake there, Candlestick." Yeah, so actually, actually, yeah, yeah. My, my only my only like memory of Candlestick actually is that my I was nine years old, and my brother would have been fourteen, and we kept a journal in a notebook about and we and we kept, kept the box score of the World Series. Um, and there's a page in that journal we still have. It's at my mom in my mom's house right now, um, where we have like shockwaves drawn all over the page because it was it was the middle the earthquake happened in the middle of the game um i think we may have mentioned this before that the fact that that earthquake happened during the world series is the reason why millions of people didn't die not millions maybe hundreds of thousands of people didn't die because nobody was on the road everybody was either at candlestick at a bar or at their house watching the world series um therefore people did not suffer most people who would have been on the road did not suffer the the uh, uh, you know being injured or killed from. Well, what's funny about that game is I was I was watching you know they're getting ready for the pregame, and then my daughter who was who's now thirty hell is Heather now thirty one, she'll soon be thirty one, starts fussing, so I got up to go get her. I came back. I go, what happened to the game? And that's when that, I, I missed the whole earthquake thing. But uh, John says, uh, John for UPS, Petco's usually full of visiting teams fans. It's true. Kind of true. But, you know, I want to go to San Diego. I'm going to go to San Francisco. They're both great stadiums. Don't get me wrong, Kayla. I've, there was a great game, but great atmosphere. If you, if, you can watch your, if you can watch a game in T-shirts and shorts, you're going to want to go to Petco. Petco's gorgeous. I mean, and, and, let's face it. When, when Padres were 14th in attendance. When was the last time they've been to the playoffs? So everyone else, you know, you bought much bash Padre fans. Fuck off. Plus, the people that run Petco Park did the greatest Rick roll of all time against the oh, yeah. fans. That was funny. That was so funny. And what, they did it with uh, they did it with um, uh, Steve Perry. Did you see that one? No, no. They started playing a Steve Perry song because he was at the game. Mm-hmm. They show Steve Perry, then they Rick roll him. <laughs> well, Steve Perry is a is a Giants fan, from what I understand. Even though he's saying "Don't stop believing," when the White Sox won the World Series, it was really awkward. You can watch that on YouTube. Check it out. I didn't see that. Check it out. Oh, Sherry. And uh, when the lights go down in the city, it's not San Francisco. It's actually L.A. When he had a an apart or home in L.A. Hang out over. Thing about John, John says the Padres have lots of participation trophies. It does. We don't care about participation trophies. We just care about our city being the greatest city. Matt, can you please explain your fucking background? I, I, I've had enough. Oh, sure. No problem. I'll just walk I forgot over. Matt was even on the show. I know. Because you guys are talking about baseball parks and big sizes and shit. Anyway, um, are they related? I don't know. You be the judge. 30 minutes. But my background is actually... Uh, like something my daughter made on the computer about her new room and how it's going to be set up because oh, nice. as, as I keep working on our attic and getting it ready for eventually like uh, my wife and our bedroom will be up there the kids have been just going crazy like oh I'm going to get to the move this here and this there and I just thought it would be funny to, to throw it up in the background. Um, but she won't be able to get outside. Her bed's literally blocking the door. I think the doorway is there. kind of like somewhere over. It's back over there. Over but she not like the... older? It's going to take you that long to finish the attic? What? Shouldn't she be like three years older because it'd be that long for you to finish the attic? Thank Aww. you. Thanks, Jack. Thanks for reminding me about how long it's fucking taken me. But you know what? Hey, I, We're I, almost I don't, here. I'm that guy. But someone yeah, yeah, you are that guy because, you know, it's. <laughs> It's a lot of work. And it is a lot of work. And I, look, I gave you last week. Yeah. With my wife and I, we, we are contracting someone to actually do all of the uh, spackling um, and, and the mudding for. And to the, fix uh, your fuck ups? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, we're done with this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck us. Whatever. <laughs> You come over. You come back down. I've done it. 
it <laughs> more than once. <laughs> I'll say this, Matt. It looks great to me. Thanks. Uh, awesome. No, uh, I'm. I'm. We're hiring a contractor to do. That, wait, hold on a second. Is that Mauser over there? No, that's probably her cat. Yeah, yeah. That would be. Do you have another cat? You got to worry about. No, no, no. We don't have another cat. But that's not the color of Mauser's, though. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't do the drawing. It's not a drawing. It's some computer program she uses. You know, Jack spies on us. Um, I'm just going to change it so everybody's not focusing on my background now. Um, and I'll just put it on something that we can all agree upon. Um, <laughs> is, wait, hold on a second. Is Clint going to punch Meryl Streep there? No, he's he, he has, has a camera. camera. And he's got a, nobody, a, nobody that listens to this podcast gets who any takes jokes. A, they just, who takes, who you know, takes the, a picture with the fist? I don't, I don't take a picture with the fist. All right. not this. He's like this. He's got the Italian hands. He's like, go for ahead. The, for, for the Italian Meryl. Go ahead. Pose for a picture. It's like when I'm having a conversation with Colleen, I have to make sure I have six feet, not just for COVID, but also so that her hands don't hit me in the face. That's true. Um, Meryl, go into your Academy Awards. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Greg in the chat, you're right. Uh, she is. I have a lot more money than yours. Go ahead. He's, he's got a camera in his hand and he's, he's about ready to take her picture. It's a sweet love story, but, you know, fuck you guys. Sweet love story. Oh, my God, please. <laughs> Oh, God. I, I didn't even get a chance to talk about anything today, but that's okay. Whatever, you know. We'll talk next week. Wait, who else? Who else <laughs> tried out for that role? I Come don't. On. I don't. There had to be someone else. I bet you right. I've been lifting weights. Oh, I am no, just no, changing no. my background no, again to just space, since Jack won't shut up about my background. Um, and yes, space uh, Colleen is right. For fuck's sake, let's just finish this. I think that's what that abbreviation is. I, who knows what Colleen's saying? Well, fuck, um, say, were you lifting weights? Oh, no, never mind. You don't look that great. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the other camera. Go back to the other camera. Back to the other camera? Yeah, yeah. It makes you look like you've been uh, working out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hey, Fenway Park is the best park in the <laughs> Fuck it. I ain't arguing with you. Anybody want some water? I did have I, my grandson today said uh, he goes flex your muscle, Pop. I go he goes no flex your muscle. I go I am. He goes you don't have any muscles. I go I know. <laughs> I know. Thank you. I I used to, but you know. Well, we ran out of time for Jack's uh, grandpa stories this week, so <clears> thank <throat> God. <laughs> Um, and I didn't. I, okay, I didn't get a chance to mention a show that I'm watching. I know it's been around for at least two seasons now, but it's on Hulu. Definitely worth watching. Hilarious shit on there. What we do in the shadows. Um, it's got a lot of a lot of hype. Taki Watiti uh, film, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, he. I think he directs, but I don't. I don't know if he. Cool. Yeah, but anyway, it's it's definitely worth checking out. It's it's hilarious. What's the name of the show? What We Do in the Shadows. It's on Hulu. Is Meryl Streep? No, no, it's about vampires, and it's kind of a comedy documentary spoof. Vampire? Okay, that, I don't want to watch it. No, 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 no. I, I thought the same thing, but like one of the hilarious vampires is not an actual vampire. He just uh, sucks there's on no, people's... Like, there's no such thing as vampires, so they're none, none of them. No, please finish your sentence. What did what, you. you do? So he goes into a workplace and he basically... Sucks on people like, what? He sucks all of the the energy, like they're, <laughs> they're I'm gonna suck your energy right out of you. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I'm just gonna fuck it in this show. So if you enjoy this show, and who doesn't, except for me, um, you know, you can send us an, an email. You know, at rcadcast at gmail dot com. We did we get an email? That. No, because they said Jack it just interrupts the the guys on the show all the time, and they can't get a word in edgewise because they always make fun of that. Finally, justified. It's not me. <laughs> he is he's, the worst. he's just being quiet now. He's just being he quiet. The worst. I will right. do that. Uh, so, if you enjoy this show, though, you can go ahead, rate, and review us on iTunes. We would appreciate that. You know, a, a good a good uh, review. You know, uh, about how bad Jack is. That helps us out a lot. Uh, you could hey, as long as you give us five stars, I don't give a fuck. You you can also uh, go to Amazon. Wait, let me get it right. It's jjack.com slash Amazon. Mm-hmm. Okay, you go to that link, and boy oh boy, anything that you buy there 
gives us about 0.025 cents on the dollar. But it's, take, it's, it's taking money away from the man. Cracker. It's taking money away from the man. So it's there you go. Taking money away from that Jeff Bezos. And boy, if you're going to be shopping on Amazon, you're going to be fuck oh, him. Yeah, getting your dust. Yeah. Um, so yeah, help us out on Amazon. You can also just become a patron uh, member, which is what a lot of yes, people you can. can. Yeah, at just about any level. There are certain patrons, though, that make this show possible, and I'm not reading your fucking porn names, okay? Because it's just... Oh, oh, boo. Boo. What okay. up? Okay, okay. You, you, know, know, they, they, you know, look how quick Jay turned on you. I, I just want to see how awkward this gets. Can you please give it a shot? Okay, I'll give it a shot, but keep in mind for the patrons that, that paid to have their name at the end, I just want to say that my initial list was math-themed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's math. cool. <laughs> math theme. Math, math theme. Math theme. You know, because the oh, number. Nothing more exciting than math. It is. Two plus two equals. <laughs> shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Fine. Have your porn and all your <laughs> sex and your deviancy. Thank you, Randy, for mentioning uh, what I mentioned earlier about Euler's identity. The the Euler Euler's Euler. I had, yeah, I had read my thing, and, and it, it's, it's an amazing equation, by the way. So, Voodoo but, economics. <sighs> anyway, uh, on with the show. What? what, what, what? <laughs> Are you going to let me finish these names, or am I going to have to shut you, though? Okay, thanks. So thank you to... Go build a basement. <laughs> thank you to Tack It Down... I don't. I didn't have anything else. Tack, tack, tack it down. down. You know, tack it down. Um, <laughs> this is going to be the best shit ever. <laughs> Eckhart, hard on. <laughs> you're, 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 okay, now, now you're fucking mailing it in. Come on. Oh, I, that's what I had. Eck, Eckhart. That's hard, what you came up. You had 15 minutes. I had 10 <laughs> minutes at best. Uh, Ed, the porn carrier. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Or a dick carrier or a cock carrier. FTD carrier. All right. Uh, this might be a little old school, but <laughs> Madam of the Night Maggie. How dare you call her that? Yeah. Uh, man, these are our patrons, Matt. Why would you say that about Maggie? So like, how, are you, how, are you, how are you the favorite? I, 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 I don't get this. I don't, I okay, never you guys are going to love this one. Joanne Chicka Wow Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Okay. Okay. And the last one is really, really bad. I'm sorry if Greg, you're still probably watching this, but yes. Uh Greg the Goo Goo Gaga Guy Guy? I don't know. It was like some baby thing. What are you watching, dude? (laughs) (laughs) I really don't. No, um, I got giggy. I, I, I have ran out of ideas. Happy birthday yesterday, Maggie. By the way, me too. Dad. Right. Oh, happy birthday, Maggie. Yeah, Chris, you care. Yeah, I care about birthdays now. <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's crazy though? Uh, I was listening to uh, the Office Ladies podcast, and there was a uh, somebody wrote into the to their podcast or whatever, and it was from Maggie. Won't say her last name for this podcast because it goes out to a lot of people, but it was the same exact last name as our Maggie. And I was like, holy shit. So, of course, I messaged her, but that is not her. She's never seen The Office, which begs the question, why have you not seen The Office? What? What? Why have you not seen it? Whenever we're all in the same house again, Maggie, if it is September or whenever it does happen, like we're watching it. It's like I'm finding out people haven't seen Deadwood. They haven't seen Justified. Come on, people. If you've seen Friends oh, and you haven't Justified. seen this, I feel like you've done yourself a disservice in the comic. Friends uh, is garbage. Straight garbage. All right, Maggie. I, happy birthday. I wasn't trying to put you down. Your original name was going to be Maggie the Mathematician, Trigonometry Tack, Eckhart Equation, Ed the Carry the One, uh, Joanne. I, I didn't come up with a fun number for you because they started talking about porn have you and Greg for- the Googleplex because why not? All right, that's the names. Randy said watch a whole episode of The Office. All right, Randy. Well, I guess we've made a match for you. <laughs> watch party. Let's go. 
All right, uh, let's end the show. How do, how do we how do we blow this thing up here at the end? Here? So we we... Watch season one, and we can do a commentary as we're watching. We're just supposed to say goodbye, Jack. Not carry on the conversation. <laughs> Just offering suggestions. I guess, you know, I guess you can come up with your stupid porn names. Okay, there are some good ones in there. He That was short notice, and he came up with something. Sure, oh was awful, but the rest were pretty good. They sucked. Okay, on that note, great porn shop, kid. One in a million. One in a million. I was better. <laughs> great face, cock, face shot, kid. That's even worse. Grace Cockface, kid, show kids one in a million. Great two in a bit, kid. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Jay should.